I speak unto thee this day, and I say that the ones who want to be and will their wills to be subject to me, I say they will be kept to me. That is, they will be kept to me and by me, for I will be their God. But I say that the ones who have willed themselves to the world, I say they will be under the torment, the uncertainty, the unrest, the anguish of the same. And I say that they will walk in the confusion, the delusion, the madness of the age, because they are subject to the world. Now I say this day there are multitudes who claim that they are my people, yet I say they are not willing to be subject to me. But I say they prefer instead to be subject to the world and the darkness, the evil of the same. That is, they subject themselves to that which I know that God never intended, and yes, they are taken far from me. And I say they subject themselves to the confusion, the delusion, the madness, the sadness of this age. Now I say this day that I know that God am at this time, giving forth the call to all men to repent and those who will hear and obey, thereby subjecting themselves unto me, I say they will be found acceptable unto me. But I say that the ones who stubbornly proudly resist that call to repentance and go on in their own determined headstrong ways, where do they end? I say they end in subjectivity to the world and the confusion, the delusion of the same. Now I say this day when you look upon the condition that men are in, who have separated themselves from me, who have estranged themselves from me, what is it that you see? I say, you see, they are living in debauchery, defilement, contamination, and yes, they are abomination. And I say, it is because they are choosing a way that either living God did not intend, nor did I provide. And I say, they are choosing to live in that which either living God never gave unto them, the way of lies. Now I say this day that I am a big God and calling for the ones who truly repent unto me to walk in the humility way that I give to my own day by day. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who claim they serve me and love me to walk uprightly in me, for it is me they are meant to please. But I say when a people will live in that which is far from me, that is in confusion and delusion, then I say they are devoured in the same. And yes, they are taken in that which I don't have been God never intended in the same, they will perish in sin. Now I say this day when I don't have been God to look at the condition that humanity is in and the darkness, the evil that is abounding in these times, what do I see? I say that I see people in confusion, delusion, madness, and sorrow, and yet they cannot change their way. And I say it is because they have refused subjectivity, submission unto me, they have refused repentance unto me, they have refused my offer of mercy unto them. And I say in the process they go in a way that I don't have been God never did provide. Now I say this day be thankful that it is me that you can be looking unto, believing and trusting day by day. I say, be thankful that I don't think God will uplift thy forth and direct the people who will believe and cleave to me. For I say, if it is me that you keep your focus, your vision upon, if it is me that you will obey and follow after, then you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day that I don't have been God do not call you to walk in a way that is weariness, a way that is dreariness, because you are estranged from me. But I say that I call you to be coming forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give to my own. For I say, when you will receive the way that I, the living God, do offer unto thee with gladness and walk in the same, ever thankful to be ruled by me, then I say you are qualified to be lasting citizens of my kingdom. But I say, when you see the ones who want it their way, who think they can re-image me, to have it the way that pleases men, I say they are utter fools. And I say they are found under Babylon's Jesus because it is not me that they serve. Now I say this day the I am living God to continue to call and to call and to call to the sons of men to repent. And I say yes, they are desperately needy of the same. For I say when you see the ugliness that is manifest, that is found in the hearts of men and women in these times, why is it so? I say it is because they have allowed themselves to be possessed, to be ruled by demons, because they wanted to do their own thing. And I say in the process of having their way, the demons moved in and took over, and now they rule their lives. And I say that men and women are so stupid, so dull, so dumb, they do not even perceive nor receive the very fact that they are in bondage, they are in oppression, and they are bound. That is, they cannot set themselves free, they cannot walk away from the very forces of darkness that are over their lives. 
And they say that the consequence is they only wax older and bolder in the sins that have beset them, in the darkness, the evil, the iniquity that they live in day by day. And I say they try to put on the facade of being so happy, so gay in their demonized way, but it is not true. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to the foolery, the vanity that is found in the world, but I say that I call you to walk uprightly in me. That is, I call you to be ever thankful that it is me you can look to and believe. And I say that I call you to be ever thankful to be guided forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give the truth and the light, the mercy, the strength, and the peace day by day. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. That is, to receive the instruction, the correction, the direction of who I am. For it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give to you the same. And it is me, the living God, who will show you what it is to walk uprightly in submission unto me, if you humble yourselves unto me. For I say that I, the living God, will not leave my true ones to flounder, but I say that I guide them forth. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do look at the condition of humanity. It is ugly, it is perverse, it is vile to behold. And I say that the ones who are swollen on pride will think they have arrived to some great thing, but I say they are nothing but fools. For I say when men are drunk, intoxicated, and taken in pride, I say they stumble about. And I say they live in confusion, delusion, and yes, they end in madness because of their pride. For I say that pride is indeed a blinder, a crippler, a deceiver, and men who drink the drink of the same can do nothing but become drunk on pride. That is, they grow increasingly intoxicated till they are devastated because they are far from me. But I say that the ones who will believe upon me, cleave unto me, and walk in my way, I say they are guided forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. And yes, they are given the blessedness, the truth, and the strength that can only be found through me. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will continue to look unto, that you will continue to believe, to trust, and obey. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all mercy, and the way of hope provided. And I say if you are coming forth uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me, then I say you are given my mercy always. And yes, you are shown the light upon the path, for it is me, the living God, who gives to you the same. Now I say this day, let it be me, the living God, that you will look to. Let it be me, the living God, that you will believe in and obey. For I say through me, you are given the hope and the peace, the strength, the safety, and the truth of who I am. And I say through me, you are directed in that which I give you, for I am indeed well able. And I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of mercy and truth, life and hope and peace provided. Therefore I say this day continue as a steadfast people who are ever trusting, believing and looking to me, for I am well able. And I say continue to partake of that which I give you time and again, for it is me, the living God, who will give you my life. And it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth in that which I intend, that which I give day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will give you what you have need of to survive and to live in times when wickedness is abounding on every hand. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is giving to men their just rewards. And I say, when the ones who claimed that they were my people were busy ogling the heathen, ogling the perversion, ogling the corruption, and then they have the same to bear rule over them, why is it so? I say it is because they stubbornly, proudly rejected my rule. They did not want to walk in the straight and narrow, nor to be humbled unto me. But I say they wanted to do it their way. They wanted to pursue the course of their own evil, iniquity, and darkness, and they loved it so. And I say in the process they have lost out with me. And I say it is because of the choices they've made to who they would let bear rule over them. For I say, if any man will choose the world, then I say that he will reap the fruit of the world. But I say, if any man will choose me, then I say that he will reap an eternal life. And I say that he will reap in the mercy that I provide and the guidance that I give day by day. But I say, when men are abandoning themselves to the ways of the world, they will reap in corruption. Now I say this day, be thankful that you can continue to love me, to serve me, and obey me each and every day. And I say, be thankful that I give to thee the light that you have need of to be guided forth by me. 
For I say, when you hear of those who think they have arrived, who think they know it all, who think they will reign forever, know they are blinded fools. And yes, they will end in a keep, they will end in despair and damnation of soul. Now I say this day, do not, absolutely do not be looking to wicked men as though they were meant to bear rule over thee. For I say you are not meant to be subject to the rule of wicked men, but I say you are meant to keep your vision that is upon me day by day. For I say if you will walk in what it is that I, the living God, do intend and be thankful for the same, then you will be guided forth by me. And yes, you will be given such as you have need of day by day. Now I say this day be thankful to continue to trust me, to believe me and obey me, for I am the I am. That is, I am the God of all righteousness, the God of all truth, and the God of mercy intended. And I say it is me you are meant to keep trusting, believing, and looking unto time and again. And it is me you are meant to follow after, for I am the life source, I am the strength, the power, the truth, the glory. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give to those who will serve me the way wherein they can be kept and they will obey my commands, then I say they are guided in light. But I say, when you see the ones who are choosing to oppose my rule, choosing to oppose my way, where do they end? I say, they end in damnation, they end in a heap, and they end up off their thrones. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does bring down the proud. Now I say that I've said it before, I will repeat it, that it is the time that I'm bringing down and I'm causing to be devastated the proud who are so sure of themselves. And I say that I likewise am bringing down the ones who trust in the world rather than me. For I say that the world is incapable of giving comfort to any man and is cap incapable of loving humanity. I say that the world is stone cold and has no heart at all. And I say when men will turn to the world and embrace the same while rejecting me, I say they are utter fools. I say this day do not turn to the world for I say it has nothing but deception. It has nothing but death, and it offers you the way of damnation of soul. And I say, when you see the ones who once knew my love, my mercy, my truth, and they abandoned me for the world, know they are utter fools. For I say, they have given themselves to that which will prove to be damnation if they do not repent unto me. And I say, if they go on in a way whereby they deny me to love the world, I say, they are damning themselves. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to participate in the worldliness of these times and claim you are serving me. Leave that act to the ones who are under Babylon's Jesus, for they will likewise be damned. But I say, be faithful, be true in repentance, revolution, declaring and living the same day by day. And do not be shaken by the ghouls who despise me and exalt themselves as kings, for I say they are fools likewise. It's only lip service and not heart service. And that's why more destruction is coming. Would you notice? Or for that matter, would you care? Ah, you're too busy listening to some guy in a tie and sleep. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. The city set up a hill cannot be hidden in order to the light of that. God is relentlessly putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in Gavin. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now's the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls. The greatest... Don't pick it, scabs. You'll leave a scar.